BBC News Katya Adler suggested the UK and the European Union could be in for another hot autumn in a bid to secure a Brexit trade deal. The BBC Europe editor suggested the British government and the European Union could reach the peak of trade negotiations in the autumn months as they did during Brexit talks. Katya Adler reported trade negotiators have expressed concern at the possibility over fears of a second wave of COVID-19 hitting the continent. Speaking at a UK in a Changing Europe event, Ms Adler said, all of the predictions are for a very hot autumn again. And you can say déjà vu from the Brexit negotiations because we had that hot autumn and ended in compromise. But again, talking to trade negotiators, they're putting up a warning flag and saying, we're worried that the EU and the UK seem semi-complacent about doing the deal at the last minute. Blinking, whatever you'd like to call it. What happens if there is a second wave of COVID in the autumn and the political leaders are completely distracted? Ms Adler continued, what happens to the fact that what we're actually doing now, forget all the drama that led up to Brexit itself. This is where those difficult decisions are actually made about our future relationship with the EU. London and Brussels have been engaged in three tense rounds of talks between lead negotiators David Frost and Michel Barnier. Future access to British waters as well as the future of the border between Northern Ireland and the Republic have remained two of the leading points of contention between the parties. UK negotiator David Frost insisted on Wednesday the bloc must evolve its position on key issues if it wants to ensure a deal is in place before the end of the transition period in December. Addressing the future relationship with the European Union Committee, Mr Frost said, Our view at the moment is that that mandate, at least in key areas, is not a mandate that is likely to produce an agreement that can be agreed with us. A related question is if the EU must formally change its mandate or not. I remember last autumn we were told often the EU had to change its mandate if we wanted a different outcome on the Northern Ireland backstop. To my knowledge it never did, formally, but nevertheless changed its position. 